You say it's a subterranean pragmatism. I just wonder if it's actually a an open repression, almost, a, 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 a refusal, a, a lack of willingness to engage. I mean, that incredibly controversial Haaretz poll that came yeah. out a, a week or so ago. Actually, one of the most startling findings, I thought, in the poll, and I'd like to talk to you about some of the other more obviously controversial findings, but one of the most startling findings was that I think 69% of Israelis said that they were satisfied with their lives in Israel, yeah. which, talk to most Israelis, you'd be surprised to hear them say that. But I just wonder whether that, <clears throat> that understandable desire to get on with your daily life uh, and not to engage with the multiple failures of Israeli society or the conflict is actually one of the things that is stymieing progress. As far as the conflict is concerned, the Israeli-Palestinian conflict is concerned, I can detect a certain fatigue on both sides. I call it a blessed fatigue. I believe conflicts, personal conflicts, family conflicts, as well as international conflicts, do not normally resolve through a magic formula. They die down out of fatigue and exhaustion. When both sides still believe that they are absolutely right and the other is absolutely wrong, that they have the right, they have the right claims and the other has no claims, but people are tired. And there are syndromes of blessed fatigue both among Israelis and among Palestinians, not among the fanatics now. The fanatics are never tired. The fanatics on both sides. So which clock will prevail, I don't know. It's difficult to be a prophet coming from the land of the prophets, there is too much competition in the prophecy business in my country.